Watching Lutza fly through the air, you'd never know she suffered a stroke at 10 years old and needed to use a wheelchair. Just over a decade later, she's achieving her dream of heading to the Paralympics. I saw para-athletes competing in the 2017 World Championships and I thought, could I compete? That's when my classification process started. Growing up in Western Hungary, she was surrounded by sport, with three brothers all playing high-level water polo. But there were no disabled athletes for her to look up to. On the eve of her first Paralympics, she wants that to change. If I can motivate just one person, it's already worth it. I hope we can reach Hungarian para sports people and disabled sports people, and we can motivate them too. More and more people will join us, and social equality might grow. As well as being a role model, Lutz is a firm favorite to come home a medalist. She won two golds and a silver and set two world records at the European Championships in long jump and the 400 metres. Tokyo is the first city to host the Paralympics for a second time. In 1964, there were fewer than 400 athletes. This year, more than 4,000 are expected to compete in a Games like no other. Lutz's coach, himself an Olympian and European champion, believes COVID restrictions will change the competition. Of course it will have an effect as we had to wait a year. Whether that's a beneficial thing for athletes or not, we will only find out at the time. The year-long delay has given Lutza more time to work on her running. The European Championships the perfect lead-in as she takes her mark on the world stage. One of my biggest dreams is coming true, being able to participate in the Paralympics in Tokyo. I hope I can hear the Hungarian anthem again. That would make me very happy. Regardless of whether she comes home with a medal, she's already achieved one dream and hopefully helped some others along the way. Penelope Leish, CGTN, Budapest.